Good morning, everybody. So, it's a little later in the day. I'm just having myself a cup of coffee here. Uh, oh, I'm standing on the table. No, that's, that's not wise. So, a little bit has changed in the farm. Not much. Um, we do have the storage here. Loading wagon. We have a big John Deere. Um, I was doing it with a small loading wagon off camera because there was a lot of grass here. And I literally wasn't even getting like halfway down a row and I'd have to go empty it. So uh, I bought the, the bigger loading wagon and then the bigger tractor. And we'll just use the bigger tractor for the loading wagon. So, but that field's all plowed, but it needs lime. I did call the shopkeep earlier today. The first thing this morning, he's got a load of lime down at the shop for us. So we're going to run down here momentarily and pick that up. This field has been mowed. This alone, just doing this off camera, took like almost two hours. It was ridiculous. This field is huge. Um, that's mowing, wind growing, everything. It, it was ridiculous. But first thing I want to do today, is I know I'm going to lose a little bit, but I'm okay with that, is we are going to... Where is it? Is this it? Mm, yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to do a little landscaping. Yeah, right through here. Landscape. And this one? Nope. Well, it's that one now. All right. We are going to... cut this field in half I don't think we need a field this big to start when the time comes we can always redig all this up right it's not the end of our world it's really not that much more work than you know plowing the field to begin with so just want to make sure that this is somewhat even here because this is so sensitive Then at some point in time, we'll get out here and I'll get all this grass picked up. What I was actually thinking about doing is... There. Uh, other than that little hiccup right there, it looks alright. Oh, and I guess this hiccup over here too. Yeah, well, that's fine. How come that doesn't look like it's actually even? It's because it's not. Yeah, well. It'll work for us. We didn't need that giant field. So, there we go. Path through the two fields. So let's just tab over to the rig. We're going to run down to the shop. And we're going to pick up Yeah, well we didn't see that. We know what happened, but we didn't see it. So we're good. Whew, man, it's good to be back. So we're going to come down here. We're going to pick up the lime that's right there. We also have a tether and a cedar that I have purchased because we're going to need them. So we are just going to throw these up here. A little unrealistic, I know, but that's okay. Makes our lives easier. We also don't have anything that can lift these right now. Maybe... I'm stuck in the cedar. Maybe I can go half with a, uh, a forklift or something with the shopkeep and see if uh, he wants to split a forklift for the company. I don't mind doing that. We could just leave it here. They can use it. We can use it. You know, other farms can use it if they want. It's just a piece of equipment here to have. Kind of help with this. Just make it a little more realistic. But we are loaded up with lime. I think we're all strapped down. So we're going to get this back. 
go. To the farm. And then we need to pick up that grass. I want to pick up some of the grass on the one side. And I want to ted. I want to use the tedder and ted the other grass. So that way, uh, we can turn it into hay. We don't have a baler, but we can lease one or something. We still have a bit of money in the bank. Shut the truck off. All right, now which tractor do I want? Uh, the Fent or the John Deere? Uh, I think the John Deere would probably be better. Get this going. Fertilizer and lime spreader. I hope 16,000 liters of lime is enough to do this field. Sorry, concentrating on the fact that I'm actually trying to... Okay, there we go. So, yes, we'll get this field limed, and then... Maybe we can get the Fent to go pick up, oh, wrong button, to pick up the cedar for us, and the tether. Um, maybe we can have him Ted first, and then once the John Deere is freed up, we can use the John Deere to seed, because I don't think the Fent actually has enough horsepower for that. I think it's 180 for the cedar I purchased. Um, the, the big John Deere over there, we're going to use it just for um, like the bale wagon. I don't want to be using that behemoth off the hop. We'll stick with the smaller tractors, put the time on them. Use and abuse those bad boys. Man, it takes a while to get this filled up. Holy jeez. Come on. You can do it. Alright, so we got two bags left. Well, uh, one in a bit. And... Final bag. Our chickens over there are doing alright. 16. There we go. Alright. Now, I don't know what the working width on this is. I think it's 20. We can go this way. I think it's 24 meters. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. So what we're going to do is I don't mind if we waste a bit just to see. That... Okay, that's fair. That's not bad then. Alright, let's get the Fent. Oh, we won't go there? Okay. We won't go there either? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna bring, get our blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna run up to the shop. I'm going to get the tether. And we'll be right back. All right, so we've got this guy going. We're gonna have him Ted all this. I know it kind of spreads it all back out again, but we can run it back up with the wind rower. Now, hopefully, he does this. You know, goes up and down. So I'm thinking about just turning this into bales, and we'll just store them. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I did not think this through. Okay, so. We'll, we'll store them someplace. We'll find a place out of the way to store them. That is convenient. So. What we're going to do 
as I think I'm just going to time-lapse me doing this. And... Yeah, I'd probably just speed it up. Alright, just finishing this up, there we go, it's all done and dealt with. Now I do need to get the wind rower out here and just have him re-wind row these just to make them a little easier to pick up, or to bail I should say. Um, I don't know, yeah, I guess I could just, maybe I'll just lease a baler. I don't, I don't see doing a lot of bales in the near future. Um, so, maybe for now we'll just lease a baler. Uh, you know what? I think, by George, that I can fit this and the wind rower in here. Oh yeah, tons of room. Tons of it. There we go. Over here. We'll grab the wind rower. And we will go get that wind road. And while that is wind rowing, I'm going to run down to the shop. And grab... The... Cedar. We're going to start seeding that field over there. I think is probably our best bet. see if this and perfect all right so I'm gonna go get the cedar and bring it on back all right time to seed we've got the cedar it's got seeds we are going to hit that pole yep knew it we are going to seed with soybeans I feel like starting off that's probably our best bet we can make some good money off that. Not that we're overly hurting for money, but as we, you know, purchase stuff, we still need a harvester and such, so the money's gonna dwindle down quickly. Um, so Let's get him going. We should I feel like the John Deere sh excuse me, I feel like the John Deere should have enough horsepower. Yeah, two ten. Okay. And the cedar is 180. Alright, so we, we're 30 above. She's not going overly fast. And I don't know how she's going to do on this hill right here. Because this is steep. Very steep. So, I'm actually curious. Maybe we'll just sit here and watch her for a second while she's running. Oh, she missed a spot. That's interesting. That's fine. I can always go back over and touch up. 
probably just because of the way the land, uh, the landscaping is. Now let's see. Can she do it? Oh, she's struggling. But she's getting there. I'm just looking. And, oh yeah, I, th I think we're not going to have any issues with this. She's struggling a bit, but she's not doing too, too bad. And we're there, basically. Alright, so yeah. It, a little bit of a struggle, but it wasn't too, too painful. So, alright, that one's good. How is this doing? So, yeah, this... I set a worker to this, and the worker took out the sign. Um, so because it's... They're already wind road, and they're so far apart, they don't... The AI actually doesn't do this. Um... They just go back and forth between two rows and just keep we uh, wind rowing each one. I don't know why that didn't work. Okay, let's try this again. So, the last thing on the agenda today is I think I think we're gonna get some sheep. We got the chickens, so we're good on that front. So while this is doing that and he is seeding, we're gonna come in here. Problem is, is we don't have a lot of space on the farm. So, let's go sheep. Uh, this one holds 250. It requires water, though. There's 195. There's 100. 195 isn't bad. 250 would be nice, but we don't have water. So, I'm thinking 65. To be honest, I'm thinking this one's kind of our best bet. Um, okay, so, we feed them on this side. So, if we... Can we get that in there? No? Alright. That's fine. So right about there, I think there's good. Uh, can I get it over? No, that's as far over as I can go. All right, there we go. So we got some sheep. Now we just need to do a little bit of landscaping to make her look pretty-ish, or as pretty as it's going to get for us. Be there. And there. And maybe just kind of clean this up a bit. There we go. Good enough. We got our way in and our way out. Now I'm just being a perfectionist about it. Good enough. There we go. Alright. Let's get out of there before I keep doing this. Okay, so what? Here. So we've got the sheep. The sheep pasture now. Oh, yeah, because this is kind of like a free-range one. I was like, what is up with that? No. There we go. So we're coming here, and sheep. Hmm. Sheep produce wool, which can be solid or sold directly, processed further. 
sheep eat grass or hay additionally they require water the animal has reached its breeding age animals that are healthy and older than eight months old can reproduce so we're just gonna buy we'll buy 60 that way we got 60 out of the 100 and then they can just do whatever they need to do they can make little baby sheeps for us and then once I get all of this actually how's oh John Deere's doing all right okay so he's doing fine so we're gonna get that finished on up the tether is to be honest I have no idea what this guy's doing absolutely none I feel like he's just tedding the same thing or sorry not tedding he's just wind rowing the same thing repeatedly over and over again I have no idea no idea so now let's see there's a few of these left to do so I want to get these guys going in one direction or another I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and I might even get it bailed off camera and then brought back and then we can feed the sheep get them good for the day in the next episode and then maybe get uh, the grass baled as well actually I think I might just plow that up we don't really need it we don't need it maybe we'll just plow that up and we'll get something planted in that bad boy as well I don't know we'll see how it goes but already I've been Farmer Rari I hope you have enjoyed Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button, but you're not obligated to. You're more than welcome to leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Y'all take care.